Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to create hamburger menu in Elementor. So let us begin. So the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the templates and after that we have to click on pop-ups. And here what we need to do, we have to click on add new template. So that would be hamburger pop-up. So let's click on create template. Alright, so we have these templates for the pop-ups, but we are not going to use this. So let's click here. We will simply build this from the scratch. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to click on the setting. And first we have to click on here in the height. So that would be fit to screen. And we have to put this on the right side. You can also put this on the left side, but I would go here with the right side. And after that, what we need to do, we have to change the width of it. So I would actually go here. I would actually go here with 320. Alright, so we have the 330. Okay, so that would look fine. Alright, so now let's click on here. And the first thing that we need to do is to add the logo. So let's just drag this. We have to drag the image here and put this here. And we have our image. So in here, we will go here with the logo. So I think this would look fine. Alright, so now I need to change the size of the logo. Okay. So I think 35 will look fine. Alright. And now what we need to do, we have to go into the advanced settings. And I would like to add some padding at the top. So this would be 30 maybe. Yeah, that would look perfect. Okay, so after the logo, I would like to add the neighbor. Alright. So let's drag this and put this here after our logo. And here what I need to do, I have to change the layout to vertical. This is looking perfect and I have to put this into center. And I can use the underline pointer. Yeah, we can use the underline pointer. And we also have the other options here. So I think I would go here with background. Yeah, this is looking fine. And after this, we have this animation. Alright, so after the animation, we have the mobile breakdown. So you can see the different options here. Okay, so now let's go into the style. Because I would like to change the text color here. Alright, so let's just click here. This would be black. And on the hover effect, I would actually like to have the white color. And on the pointer color, though, that would be a kind of reddish color. I think I would go here with a darker color. Alright, so this is looking fine. And after this, I can add the horizontal padding, I can add the vertical padding, and we can add the space between. So let's just add some space here. Alright, so the 10px would work fine here. So let's just add the 10px. And this is looking okay. And we can also add the active color. So in the active color, we would have the text color, a kind of reddish color. Alright, so this will look fine. And now what we need to do, we have to add the social icons. So let's just drag this. And put this here and you can add and delete the social icons from here if you wanted to and I would like to change the shape here so that would be circle and I would like to change the color here so this would be a kind of black color all right so that is looking perfect and on the secondary color I can add a kind of reddish color but that is not looking good so I'll simply remove the color from here okay and we can also change the size padding and the spacing between the icons as well. Alright. So after this, I would need to add button. So let's add the button here. And I would like to put this into center. Alright, so after putting this into the center, I would like to change the size of it. So I would go here. 15px varying. And I would also change the font size here. Alright, so that is looking okay. And what we can do here, I would like to change this at the top so that would be 7 at the top and 7 at the bottom or we can go here with the 10 at the top and the bottom all right so now this is looking fine and now what we can do here let's just decrease the size of the icons so let's just go here with all right so now this is looking fine and i would need to change the color of the button so this would be black color Alright, so now what I need to do, I just have to do some alignment. So let's click here on the main container. 
and we basically justify the content and the space around okay so i would actually need to increase the height and to 100 vh which simply means the viewport height all right and here i think the space evenly would look better yeah this is looking better but i will need to change the bedding value of our button here this is looking fine all right so let's just publish this click on next next and next and close okay one thing that i need you to do here is to go into the settings and here i have to do one thing here to add the interest animation so that would be filled in from the right side so let's just update this again click on save and close all right so now we need to go into the wordpress dashboard and we need to install one plugin here so let's just go into the add new plugin and here we have to search for elementor elementor header and footer builder so i have already installed this but i think i need to update this all right so we just need to install and activate this so i have already done this and how can we access this we just need to go into the appearance and click on elementor header and footer builder and here we have to click on add new skip this hamburger menu we have to select the type of the template so that would be header and entire website on the display on let's just publish this now we have to click on edit with elementor all right so i would keep the header a really simple one just the logo and our hamburger menu so let's click on the flex box so that would be a kind of two column structure okay that should be full width and i need to change the padding here so that would be zero and we also need to change the padding of our uh, columns so that would be zero as well let's go here with the zero again and we need to do one thing here that i need to change the width of the layout so this would be 80 percent and this would be basically 20 percent all right and now what i need to do i just need to add the logo here all right so let's just add the logo so this would be a kind of white logo select this all right so this is looking better i need to change the width here all right so i think 40 percent is fine and now what i need to do i need to change the background color here of our main container so this would be a kind of black color yeah this is looking perfect and now what i need to do i just have to add the icon all right so let's just add the icon on our second column and i would basically put this onto the right side and i will have some padding here so this would be on the right side so let's go here all right so i'll link the values first so this would be maybe 50 or we can go here with 60 px on the right padding this is looking fine now let's click on the icon we need to change the icon to the bars click on insert and i need to change the size here all right so i think we can go here with 18 percent maybe so let's just change the color to the white and i think we can go here with 20 percent and what i need to do i think we need to add some padding on the main container so let's just remove the zero all right so now this is looking better and now what we need to do we need to go into the layout we will basically put the items into the center all right so this is looking fine okay so let's click on the icon again and now what i need to do i have to go into the content and in the link i have to click on the dynamic text so i would basically select here pop-up so i would click on the pop-up here so i simply click here and write down the name of our pop-up so that is basically hamburger pop-up okay so i have done a spelling mistake but that's okay you got the idea here so let's click here and when i just click on update now let's just open up the new tab and now we just need to click on the visit site all right so when i just click on the preview changes you will be able to see our header and when i just click on our hamburger you can see our hamburger menu here all right so this is how you can create hamburger menu in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel